The Duke of Sussex attended an award ceremony in Los Angeles hours after withdrawing his high court libel claim. I think the libel claim was against the source of this story, and they really make a fuss about it. But anyway, uh, Harry attended a ceremony at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills. He was inducted into the living legends of aviation for his work as a British Army veteran and pilot. He was... Uh, let's see, Harry appeared at the 21st annual Living Legends of Aviation Ceremony, honoring those who make significant contributions to aviation and aerospace, hosted by U.S. actor and aviation ambassador John Travolta. The Duchess of Sussex, who had been expected to, the attend, to attend the event, was not present as one of their children became unwell. The Duke, 39, completed two tours of Afghanistan as a forward air controller and an Apache helicopter pilot, having flown countless training missions in the U.K., U.S., and Australia. He served for 10 years in the military, rising to the rank of captain, and later founded the Invictus Games, a sporting event for wounded military personnel and veterans. Harry takes his place alongside other aviation and aerospace. I don't know why they put legends in quotes here, because Buzz, <laughs> Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong? <laughs> including Bezos, Buzz Aldrin. No. Okay, right. I got yeah. you. Jeff Bezos, Tom Cruise, Morgan Neil Armstrong. Freeman. Harrison Ford. Yeah. Morgan That's why Freeman. Quotes. Elon <laughs> Musk. All right, then. And that's pretty much it. For yeah. The highlights. So I, I don't follow Prince Harry. Um, but what? I know. Shocker. All right. About the drama. I'm, I'm a red blooded American. I don't like tea. I drink coffee. But anyways, throw it in the I, harbor. I uh, thanks, Doug. While, while we, you know, we were searching for cool stuff to talk about in the show, like this popped up and it's like everybody. <laughs> I just saw this list. Like everybody gets a trophy. Prince Harry winning the living legends. Of av aviation award, he's in the same company of uh, Robin Olds, Buzz Aldrin, uh, uh, Chuck Yeager. Sorry, mover. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> is not, gone on your channel, God. That's, you know, that's, that's right. That's not a yeah, slur. Did you but, say Bob you know, Hoover? Because I'm going to say Bob Hoover again. Uh, he's probably in there too. I mean, there's a whole list of actual people, and I can understand. So if you go to the website, it's like you know, famous people who um, took aviation to the next level, including entrepreneurs and celebrities and stuff. Like John Travolta is in there. And I can understand that, but you, you look at Prince Harry. He did, you know, one tour. I mean, he did one ten-year stint in an Apache. And if you, I, I, there's, there's, there's a lot of guys who who did that. And I would argue that there's probably Casmo. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, and if you if his acceptance speech of this award was really weird as well and if you know just for sport you can read the comments and everybody's pretty much like why is this what, guy what, what were his comments what do you say uh he, so it was um john travolta that that brought him on stage you know hey congratulations here's your award and and then harry went off on some weird tangent of like hey you know i was i was one when you were dancing with my mom and all this he just kind of starts talking yeah and i'm like dude you're getting an aviation award like say something inspiring about or at least something about aviation that's what i'm saying just say go, something inspiring go to the about... old faithful from independence day <laughs> i can fly i'm pilot yeah I'm it's really the stage really weird so I, I like i said i don't follow prince harry but uh, i i dove into this a little bit and i got the impression that like he gets a lot of hate which I can understand if he's winning these kind of awards because, you know, there's people in his, in England that are like, you know, vets in England who are like, man, I, I did more than this guy did. Why is he? Yeah. Getting but this? he also has veteran support, veteran outreach. So he's helping the vets in England. Yeah, yeah so. I guess I thought it was, uh, I, th in, in the company, you know, the, the people who have won that award, it's like, man, I don't know. That's pretty, I, th pretty weeks i was waiting when i was reading up about like what he did okay he flew the apache that's great but i i was i was hoping i was going to read some like he saved Tony Matt, whatever i mean i don't know maybe i'm so just did, a bitter american man I so don't know. did nick cage he didn't what? get the award <laughs> what, i don't know what about well, i mean what do you think man what's your impression of that i think it's just you know all these these places it's it's money right money drives everything and sponsorships and and donations and all that and i think it's good that that Prince Harry does stuff for veterans. I think that's really good. And I'm happy that he uses his platform to do that. Um, I do think it's a little sad because people aren't stupid, right? I mean, so it devalues it, doesn't it? A little bit. It devalues it a little bit where you have people out there, you know, that are on YouTube channels. I mean, Mover, you've had people, heroic people on your YouTube channel. Um, and there's been others out there and people watch this stuff all the time and they go, well, hold on a second. Like that guy did X and it's like, 
And it's people, people could read through the BS, but it, that's, that's fine. Because again, he uses his platform from my understanding to help veterans. That's about the, the big redeeming factor that I'll give. Um, but it's kind of like, man, it, it's like when somebody gets like an honorary degree from a university, it's like, cool. Like, what does that mean? Like, it's just a piece of paper, man. You Taylor know Swift. I mean? I'll take I'll take the dudes that flew that E2 and give them that award yeah. any day, right? I mean, it's yeah. – so it's – it's but that's what it is. I mean, that's the world we live in now, right? It's all – Seemed a little – yeah. It's, it's, definitely it's all about even, image. Even, yeah. It when you look at the company like that. that he's in and that, I'm like, man, I don't know if he could – And he probably I, felt that way too. Honestly, I know I would. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. So, you, I didn't think about that. he have his own problems like the whole – crown and the girl and the all know, that stuff true. didn't this dude like i don't have royalty problems man i'm American. going down a path yeah we have <laughs> no problems really... with our political system here in america <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> politics dude okay i'm just saying oh, he's got a lot of things <laughs> going my bad i have no opinion on this matter because i don't know anything about british politics and i don't care it's not politics <laughs> man all right mover we know we don't want you to get in trouble bro it's all right I'm not in trouble. This is like I said, this is your thing. I just don't know anything. I'm yeah. Cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll get an award. You should. <laughs> Best pilot ever. No, but well. Best DCS gamer in the history of all the gamers. Well, on that note, we can just continue. I like it. 